I woke up this morning with the words, your young men will see visions and your old men dream dreams in my mind. Faces, faces of young men and women whose lives were snuffed out too early in life. And though every situation is different, systemic systems of classification and hierarchy, power and economics, race and class are factors in each of these deaths. This has been a horrifying and difficult week. Tensions are high, protesters and rioters fill the streets and courthouses and capitals. One group outraged by systemic racism and the other responding to temporary orders which they feel overstep the bounds of government. And prayers rise seeking resolution and unity. Tomorrow we celebrate Pentecost, the sending of the Holy Spirit to liberate all people. We remember the disciples who hold up in a room behind locked doors for fear of persecution or death in the wake of Jesus' death. We remember the miraculous holy fire that swooped into a room and filled them all, and each, though speaking in different languages, understood the other. Perfect unity, perfect love, and the indwelling of the Holy Spirit in the world was giving, given so that that same perfect love might be a part of daily life. When the Spirit pours out into the world and folks outside see what's going on, they're confused. They think that the disciples are drunk at 9 o'clock in the morning. But Peter tells them this is not the case. Instead, he explains that this is from God. And he quotes the prophet Joel. In the last days, God says, I will pour out my Spirit on every kind of people. Your sons will prophesy, also your daughters. Your young men will see visions. Your old men will dream dreams. When the time comes, I will pour out my spirit on those who serve me, men and women both, and they'll prophesy. And whoever calls out for help to me will be saved. Joel's great vision recounted by St. Peter reveals God's intention. The revelation of what might look like, what it might look like when the bonds are broken and systems are dismantled. And people of different backgrounds find themselves in the same room. And though they might not understand each other's language or culture, they can. They can because they can see and know that each is a child of God. They can because they've sat down together and realized that life is a gift. That they are a gift. It reveals the amazing spectrum of God's love and intention of God's creation. Pentecost is tomorrow. The Spirit comes, and I pray that that same Spirit of old will blow across this world and bring healing, but I also pray that I and you have the courage to stand up and preach against the system, just as Peter did, and speak for the one who calls out love, the one who's provided the very thing that can make a way where there seems to be no way, the Spirit of the living God. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer and move us to respond in peace, hope, love, and humility.